Hi everybody, my name is Marko Kastić. Uh, I'm Innovation Associate at Algovis LTD Cyprus. I will talk about challenges and benefits for detecting soon to fail drives in Industry 4.0. This work is partially supported by European Union Horizon 2020 Innovation Associate Grant Prefail and by Cyprus Research and Innovation Foundation under the grant agreement postdoc 09 160090. Industry 4.0 storage requirements are uh, become becoming more stricter by, by involvement of uh, new technologies, emerging technologies uh, in industry like big data, cloud computing, internet of things. Uh, um, nowadays the analysis and processing of data is not only in uh, data centers but also in so-called edge data centers nearby uh, at factories uh, nearby to the sensors and internet and things that are uh, that are source of uh, data and uh, processing uh, because of that, the performance and uh, reliability of uh, storage devices must be improved. One uh, way for doing this is uh, by uh, using uh, proactive monitoring and um, systems and detection of uh, soon to fail drives. But um, there are some challenges also in um, developing system for detection of soon to fail drives. In there, usually there is a high level of noise in uh, data set because of non -start standard values of uh, uh, attributes used to describe for description of uh, drive performance, uh, and uh, also there is extremely class imbalance distribution because. Uh, uh, the number of failed drives in data set uh, is uh, uh, much much smaller than the number of uh, healthy drives and uh, also the the failed uh, drives uh, uh, shows the soon to fail uh, soon to fail uh, uh, behavior only before the failure not uh, during the whole life cycle there is also concept uh, drift, um, the function that describes the relation between attributes and uh, outcome fail, soon to fail, non soon to fail, are changing during the time because uh, change of uh, class imbalance ratio, but also by because of inclusion of new uh, drives uh, with different behaviors. And lastly, there is a big data problem because uh, data sets uh, contains a large number of, of uh, drives and the heterogeneity of these drives uh, makes the problem more harder because uh, uh, global model must be able to predict uh, the common, uh, common relationship be be between uh, between the attributes and uh, the outcome. Uh, we divided our methodology in different steps. The first step, step was data processing. We selected the base uh, data set uh, as to emulate um, the, the behavior of drives in industry 4.0. This is the largest uh, data and uh, cover all scenarios that there exist. This is the largest uh, data set available. Uh, so first we will describe the format of this da data set, talk about, uh, then talk about feature selection, uh, um, test train validation data set creation, and uh, at the end uh, of this part, data processing part, uh, we will talk about labeling process. Backbase data set uh, consists of uh, daily snapshots uh, about uh, at, that contains date, serial number, model, and capacity of drive uh, information if this drive failed or, or not, uh, marked with zero for healthy and one if this is the last day that drive was operational before failing. Um, 
And the most important, it contains the self-monitoring and analysis and reporting technology attributes that describes the behavior drive. It, it, it contains raw values and normalized values. Normalized values are normalized by each vendor. In our uh, experiments, we used only raw va values uh, in order uh, to to avoid losing some valuable information. Uh, we used uh, we used uh, attributes that are used usually used in uh, in literature, like read error rate, that is frequency of errors during the read operation, spin up time, uh, this that is time required. A spindle to spin up to operational speed, uh, start stop count, uh, row value codes uh, the actual number of spin up, spin down cycles, relocated sector count, the number of the unused spare sectors when encountering a read write check error, and the device ramp, ramp ups a bad sector to a healthy one taken from the special reserve pool. Uh, power on hours count, uh, the row value shows the actual power on time, usually in hours. Uh, power cycle count, uh, the row value holds the actual number of power cycles. And at the end, temperature, temperature monitored by sensor somewhere inside the drive. Row value typically holds the actual temperature in its rightmost uh, two digits, um, represented in hexadecimal format. Um, regarding the dataset creation, we generate uh, the de testing dataset by selecting 30 healthy and 30 failed drives from each year at random. Then the remaining data is divided into training and validation dataset in proportion of 70 and 30% respectively. Um, we modeled the failure process by a sequence of uh, uh, current day for smart attributes and previous day smart attributes. Uh, um, we, s we adopted sequence of 30 days uh, as it uh, estimated that it is long enough to model process of disk failure. Uh, laboring process, uh, we, we selected the, the window of uh, 30, 30 days and if and uh, then uh, for each uh, window, uh, we we are we checked uh, in the backbase data set if it is marked as failed on disk is marked is failed or not. If it marked as uh, failed, uh, then uh, we we put the label for all of these days as uh, soon to fail drives, and in contrary, we we consider that drive is healthy. This, uh, this reduces a little bit of uh, class imbalance uh, impact. Regarding uh, prediction models, um, we consider both uh, recurrent neural networks and uh, convolutional neural networks as well as uh, combination. Uh, we consider long short-term memory as representative of recurrent neural networks because of uh, their good property regarding uh, vanishing gradient, uh, then combination of CNN and LSTM, uh, ResNet uh, spe specific architecture of uh, convolutional neural network that is uh, showed a good performance in a uh, time uh, series classification uh, domain, domain. And uh, lastly, we considered uh, a simple CNN model that we uh, developed in order to to see if uh, less complex models are, are, are uh, can uh, predict uh, soon to fail drives. Um, LSTM neural network model is consists of uh, four LSTM layers and one dense layer, uh, while uh, CNN LSTM uh, model consists of uh, one convolution layer, one max pooling layer, and one flat layer that prepares data for um, LST, two LSTM layers and uh, then uh, uh, one uh, dense layer that uh, perform classification of drives as soon to fail or or uh, healthy drives. Um, this architecture or used uh, in uh, practice and uh, in literature and uh, get and gave the good results.
uh, then we use ResNet architecture with three residual blocks and one average pooling and and then the dense wire for classification the the um, residual block used is described on the B section of this picture uh, then um, our simple CNN model consists on uh, of two convolutional layers, layers uh, two max pooling layers and one dense layer at the end regarding training process uh, we choose uh, we, we couldn't address all, all uh, challenges described in the introduction but we focused uh, mostly on uh, dealing with large amounts of data big data problem and uh, dealing with uh, class imbalance um, ma many papers uh, many papers are, are so, so many papers address uh, big data problem for different uh, application um, but uh, usually this is uh, done uh, for some implementation uh, by training batch by batch uh, chunk by chunk of uh, data however in uh, in our application uh, predicting of soon to fair drives uh, this is not uh, explored in uh, in details and there are no clear guidance uh, how data should be combined in uh, in each batch uh, so we examined uh, two two ways that uh, to form batch for data collected from a single drive and combination of data for failed and uh, healthy drives uh, regarding class imbalance in the case where batches from formed from the data collected for single drive we apply both under sampling and cost sensitive learning methods on the other hand uh, in case when batches formed from both healthy and failed drives data we didn't use under sampling uh, to avoid uh, to avoid losing some important information uh, we want uh, to support learning of differences between uh, healthy and soon to fail operating characteristics in the same batch with as many examples in addition uh, we try advanced methods to fight with class imbalance in machine learning models with sequential inputs uh, that are developed in recently in time series classification domain um, this uh, method uh, use a dynamically adjust cost weights in the learning process uh, uh, to class embarrassment ratio in each batch, batch instead of to global class imbalance ratio used in the in the first case. Um, experimental results are divided and created by uh, two series of experiments. Uh, one series of uh, experiments are done in order to compare different ways uh, to generate data in training batches. Um, the other um, the other experiment series is um, create is done because to compare to see performance of advanced class imbalance technique developed for time series which I talk uh, about uh, a few months a few moments ago. On this slide, uh, comparison of different ways to generate data in training batches. Uh, is shown uh, you we optimize model to achieve the best uh, f measure f1 measure as uh, possible you can see in the first case when batches are formed from one disk data the best model is a simple cnn uh, model on the other case when uh, batches are formed from mixture of failed and non-failed drives the best models are LSTM and CNN LSTM um, models and they are they have better F1 measure performance in the first case when um, when um, batches formed from one disk data uh, so uh, we suggest that it's better to mix uh, the data from uh, in batches you should mix the data from failed and uh, non-failed um, drives CNN uh, because they have the same performance it is clear that uh, features we selected for training are good because uh, uh, CNN uh, cannot learn a better representation that will improve the classification of uh, uh, drives. 
uh, if we consider the performance of uh, of uh, of models when we are dynamically adjust weights costs uh, weights or costs in uh, training process uh, considering uh, cost imbalance at each batch level we can see that uh, we have a drop and F1 uh, measure performance uh, um, the possible reason for that is that uh, global class imbalance ratio uh, um, incorporates uh, information about uh, annual uh, failure rates of uh, drives in training process but when we used uh, dynamic adjustments of uh, these uh, um, class weights according to the mixture of uh, at the batch level then this information are losing so our conclusions are that uh, we really propose the detection system that is designed to overcome challenges that arise from data characteristic uh, in um, in data characteristics um, for training models for prediction predict for training prediction models to predict soon to fail drives the main focus was on uh, big data and class imbalance application it is experimentally shown that LSTM neural network train in batch by batch manner where each batch are formed from both information about healthy and fair drives is cap capable to recognize 88% of drives that are soon in soon to fail condition. Uh, but however, this comes at the price of 43% uh, of false alarms. Thus, further research is needed to improve predic prediction precision. One way, uh, possible way is uh, not to optimize F measure, but to optimize uh, prediction precision and to see uh, how good recall this will offer. Thank you for your attention.